a look behind the scenes to making of uh, carousels. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably something we're all a little curious about, but how does it get all started and how do the makers of those crafts get into their crafts? Good question. So 3 News photojournalist Virginia Palmer shares the stories of local wood carvers who make the iconic amusement park ride. So the first carousel came over in the late 1860s from Europe. By the 1900s, when things were really progressing, that you know everybody started enjoying them, and the carousels were everywhere. There were supposed to be, you know, close to 5,000 carousels in the country uh, at that time during the golden age of carousels. My name is Todd Goings, and I'm a woodworker. Just by chance, I read an article about the Richland Carousel Project over in Mansfield, and they talked about wood carving, and so that got me interested in, because I was already doing wood carving and woodworking, so I just wanted to go see it. I really wasn't, had no idea about getting involved in actually doing it. 33 years later, I'm still doing it. You know, because that's the thing that drives you as, a, as somebody who likes to create and work with wood. I think that drives all of us here is to, you know, you, you come up with a thought and a process of, of an animal, a horse, whatever it is, and then you want to create it, and then you want to move on because by the time you get that done, you have new ideas and new things you'd like to do or see or something you've seen that influences you a little different. Yeah, right now we have in the shop, you know, several carousels that are, are getting worked on and waiting to be worked on, and some of them start out as early. The earliest ones we have in the shop right now are uh, from the 1890s. Uh, we have uh, some menagerie animals that are in here from that time period. Uh, they'll get restored, uh, we'll remove all the paint, the wood will be repaired and then they'll go back out, get repainted and go back out and work on the carousel just like they did day one, 1916. You know, some animals come in and they, they're in pretty bad shape and you get to work on them and help bring them back to life and continue them on and it's a really cool way to interact with history. and. When you're working on new stuff, you get to create your own little bit of history that hopefully will have the same life as some of the old ones have. It is fun to do something that you know, you know, I've done lots of stuff that buildings that have been torn down and things fade away, but our carousels will be forever. And people will enjoy them a lot longer than anything else I could be doing. You know, long after we're gone, there'll probably still be a few of them out there going around. It. So it's a piece of um, commercial art, but it's also one that you get to ride and interact with in a different way than you would if you go to a museum and just walk by and see sculptures. You know, these are ones you get the craftsman built and get to ride on and interact with. So I think it's a whole different experience. I mean, I don't really, wouldn't know what else to do if I retired, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Well, if anyone has interest about job opportunities on working on carousels, you can visit their website, carousel, carouselsandcarvings.com.